Okay, good morning everybody. Here we are inside a level. Uh, today we'll be testing the effects of going through portals on your terminal velocity. Before we start off, I'm going to give a big shout out to the Reddit user Blaze Orange Deer, with whom I had a nice conversation about physics the other day. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, in this level, uh, I'm going to be using a few cheats. I'll be slowing down and speeding up time to make things a little bit easier, but the gist of it is we'll be measuring our terminal velocity going through three different ceilings. We're we'll putting a portal on the ground below and a portal above and using that to accelerate. Okay, not yet, <laughs> but that's what we'll be doing. Um, we'll be doing this with three different ceiling heights. You can see above us uh, we've got three different ceilings. Uh, the highest ceiling is 10 units high, the middle ceiling is 6 units high, and the low ceiling is 4 units high. Uh, we'll be going through five, uh, 5 full loops or 5 full drops through uh, from the ceiling to the floor, and then using the time it takes to make those 5 drops to calculate our terminal velocity. At the end you'll be able to see how it varies, uh, between, how it varies as ceiling height changes. Let's go ahead and start with the lowest uh, ceiling. Here we go. I'm putting one portal on the ceiling and another portal on the floor. Now just to give you a heads up of what I'm going to be doing, when we get to terminal velocity I'm going to pause for a second um, and then we'll pause it and then restart it right when we start the timer. Okay, and here we go. Oops, <laughs> wrong portal. Let's give that a try. Another try. Wrong color. Okay, here we go. Picking up speed. Alright, and it doesn't look like we're getting any faster. I'm going to stop myself now. Okay, so at this point in time, uh, I'm actually frozen in place. Uh, we're going to start the timer now, and we're going to count five full drops. And here we go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. And here we go. Okay, so that took us three, excuse me, 2.2 seconds. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get off this ride. And here we go. Okay, so that took us 2.2 seconds. Let's find a better surface. Okay. To find our terminal velocity, we'll be doing velocity is equal to distance divided by time. Our distance is going to be 4 units times 5 drops divided by time, which is 2.2 seconds, gives us a terminal velocity of 9.09 .09 units per second. We can convert that to meters per second by multiplying by 2.4. There are 2.4 meters per unit. That gives us a terminal velocity of 21.8 meters per second. That's with a drop of 4 units. Okay, let's go ahead and do 6 units. We'll be going through the same procedure again. Once we pick up, once we reach terminal velocity, I'm going to stop and then start the timer. Here we go. It's a little bit easier because the portals are farther apart. Here we go. Ready? Okay, we're stopped. You can see we're actually still slightly moving. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Let's get a little bit closer and go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, we can see that took 3.2 seconds. Let's get off this ride. Okay, 3.2 seconds. Once again, we'll be using the equation velocity is equal to distance divided by time. Our distance is going to be 6 units. Multiply that by 5 drops. Divide the whole thing by 3.2 seconds. That gives us 9.38 units per second, which corresponds to a, in real life, velocity of 22.5 meters per second. Okay, let's go ahead and do our tallest, one on the ceiling, one on the floor, same procedure, here we go. Alright, we're picking up speed. Alright, looks like we're about to start the timer. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so to go through five portals this time took us 4.9 seconds. Let's get off this ride and do a little bit of math. Okay, once again, velocity is equal to distance divided by time. Our distance is going to be 10 units multiplied by 5 drops. Divide the whole thing by 4.9 seconds, and that gives us 10.2 units per second. 10.2 units per second corresponds to a real-life velocity of 24.5 meters per second. So, let's go ahead and put those up on the board. If, if our drop is only 4 units, our terminal velocity is equivalent to 21.8 meters per second. If we're dropping 6 units, our terminal velocity is 22.5 meters per second. And if we're dropping 10 units, it is 24.5 meters per second. This tells us that the less often we see 
a portal. The fewer portals we run into, the faster we're going. So portals are actually slowing us down. In case you're wondering, all of these terminal velocities are much lower than it is in real life. In real life, it is 89 meters per second. This is an interesting and weird quirk of the game and one that we're going to have to work, ar work around, but I feel like there are advantages to this as well. That's going to be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please add them to my website, uh, physicswithportals.com, or comment on the YouTube video. That's going to be all for today. Take care.